Hi guys, thanks for coming back to our ever busy You Can Too kitchen. Today I'm just going to do a quick and easy uh, chilli bacon pasta. It's just a lunch thing. It's, it's tasty, it's quick, it's easy. It literally takes as long as the pasta takes. I'm just going to put, this is for two of us, so I'm going to put one, two, three good handfuls. I'm using whole wheat penne pasta. I like penne because the pasta sticks, because it's got ridges in it, and obviously the tubes, the pasta, the sauce sticks to the pasta. I've just got a full kettle of water. Always boil your pasta in a big pan so that it doesn't stick together, go all horrible. Give that a quick stir. I've got loads of salt in there doesn't matter because the water will be thrown away so it's fine it just adds more flavor to it okay in a frying pan I've got my ever-present fry light I've just got one large onion and one stick of celery which I've grated and no, I haven't grated them at all I'm lying to you I've chopped them really sort of quite a fine dice making sure that they get cooked down as I say I've got the heat on high just a quick one. It's just coming up to a bubble now. So I'm going to turn that heat. Okay, so my onions and celery, or onion and celery, are just starting to brown off a bit now. For that, in here, because I'm on Cinnamon World, we use bacon medallions and we, put it, we cut off any excess fat. If you want to use just the cheap cooking bacon, that's absolutely fine. But obviously, as I say, for Cinnamon World, we have to be good. I'm just going to stir that in. I've used 10 here. I mean, this could be a dinnerish dish. Um, there'll be more than enough to keep the generous portion here. You quite easily go through maybe four, say, lunch portions. Now the bacon's cooking through a bit, I'm going to add, I've just got one pepper roughly chopped. I tend to buy the bags of um, misshaped ones. One, because they're a lot cheaper, and two, because sometimes, like this one, you get them that are mixed colours, if you like, so it's a bit orange, a bit red, a bit green. There's <laughs> a bit of all sorts in there. Adds a bit of colour to it. And just let that come back up to a sizzle. I'm waiting for it to come back up to a sizzle. If you can see, there's quite a bit of liquid in there. Um, that's just come off the bacon and the veg. That's absolutely fine. Just keep turning it around until all that liquid is sort of cooked up and absorbed. I say this will be ready by the time your pasta's cooked. Right, as you can see, most of that liquid has cooked away now. We're pretty much back up to a sizzle. So now I'm gonna add, I've got one chili that I've taken all of the um, membrane out and all of the seeds out. I just want the flavor, I don't want the heat. So one green chili, but you can use red chili if you want, whatever you've got handy, and one big fat clove of garlic. And I'm just gonna tip those in. Again, making sure that that garlic's well dispersed because you don't want a big mouthful of garlic when you're eating this. As much as I love garlic, I don't like it by the mouthful. I've got... I've got about 10 big mushrooms there that I've just cut in half and then sliced. And I'm just cooking my mushrooms down along with everything else. The mushrooms will absorb all the excess liquid. And just keep cooking it down. Pasta turn nicely. That I've got one large carrot which I've peeled and grated on the coarse side of my grater, and I'm just gonna pop all of that in and spread it out and stir it in. And it wouldn't be me if we weren't throwing herbs in, so a good pinch of mixed herbs, just ordinary mix, just ordinary mixed herbs. I say a good pinch, that's probably about a level tablespoon, and stir those in. I'm not going to put quantities in the description. I will put what I've put in it, 
but I'm not going to put quantities because it's just rough. I'll, you know, there's no, I haven't weighed anything. It's just, you know, one of this, one of that, one of the other, all chopped up. And you can see everything's cooking down nicely. To that, I'm going to add good old faithful can of chopped tomatoes. Just one can of chopped tomatoes. And stir that in. And then when that heats up, I'm going to add a chicken stock cube. If you have pork, add pork stock cubes, but if not, a chicken stock cube's absolutely fine. Just going to give it a few grinds of salt and pepper. In fact, I'm not going to put salt in. I'll wait until the end and taste it because bacon can sometimes be salty. So we'll hold off on the salt, but a little bit of pepper never hurt anybody. That's coming up to a bubble now. Right, one chicken stock cube going in. Just squish it in. This will thicken it up slightly because you can see I've got the juice from the tomatoes in there. And the stock cube will just, it's not going to make it hugely thick, but thick enough, you know, it'll give it a, make it a good coating sauce. A splodge of tomato puree. It's probably about a tablespoon there. Because it's all about the flavour. My pasta's ready. I've drained it off. I know all the rules about adding the pasta to the sauce. But I've got a bigger pan there. If I try and put the sauce, the pasta in the sauce, it's just going to go very wrong. So I'm just going to tip my sauce into my pasta. When I drained the pasta off, I saved about a ladle full, maybe a little bit more of the cooking liquid. And that is a little bit on the thick side. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the cooking liquid. This is to your taste, do it by your judgment. If you want a thicker sauce, then just leave it as it is. If you want it a bit thinner than that, then add some more liquid. That is absolutely perfect for me. All right, again, in keeping with cinnamon world, we've got mature light cheddar. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna have any, but my lovely cameraman is. You're allowed 40 grams a day if you haven't had your healthy extra A choice. That's not going to be anywhere near 40 grams, but it's just a sprinkling because he's a cheeseaholic. So there we have it. One with, one without cheese. Quick and easy bacon chili pasta. So that's it for this one, guys. Um, hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope we'll get you cooking really soon because you can too, especially with something as quick and easy as that. As I say, 10 minutes, 12 minutes from start to finish. Please, please, please like this video for us, subscribe to our channel, tell your friends all about us, touch the little bell icon to get notifications and anything else you can think of. Dance around your computer if you want to. Um, thank you for watching today. We hope you'll join us again very soon in our You Can Too kitchen. Bye guys.